new virtual film, I tap new film, then select menu and tap scan folder. I tap browse, SD card and select the folder with photos and videos. I tap use this folder. I tap scan. Later on now I can change the duration of clips. I tap add clips. Here they are. Navigation controls in the gallery view allow moving by one, by three clips, and to the beginning or end with one tap. I switch to grid view selecting menu and can view everything as a whole. I can choose small and big thumbnails as I want. I choose medium. Now I want to add background music. I go to the menu and select background playlist. I tap the track and select volume. I choose default and tap OK. It is important. I tap Enable for video. Otherwise, it won't work with video clips. That's it. I tap Play and enjoy my virtual video film. All you need to do is to prepare folders with video files, photos and audio tracks. Scan folder function does all the rest. Virtual Filmmaker allows to combine the best fragments of your videos together with your photos into a continuous presentation called Virtual Film. Later you can change the order of the clips and set start time and duration attributes for each clip and photo individually. Background Sound Playlist can contain multiple sound files, so you can change music anytime you want. No cut and paste, no hours of rendering. The result is immediately available. Scan folder is available in Pro version only. In the free version, you can automatically add pictures, and video should be added manually and one by one. We use scan folder to cut the time of demonstration. Besides, there is no background soundtrack in the free version. Virtual Filmmaker suggests a unique set of features, and at the moment there are no analogs on the market.